welcome to my channel I hope you're doing well I hope everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing marching forward the year or summer is almost over thank god totally excited about that I'm gonna try to take oh the glare really isn't too bad in my glasses so I'm, I'm, I'll keep it on um today I am 30 weeks so when you're watching this video you're actually getting the footage the same day um I just wanted to clear my schedule just for this video so I'm gonna give you an update from 21 weeks to 30 weeks um, and let's see how this goes I don't want it to be too long so let's go I have my pregnancy has been pretty well compared to others but pregnancy is difficult um, so here are some things that I want to give you an update on I've gained about 20 pounds which the average is 25 to 35 pounds so I guess I'm below average which is great <laughs> so I went from being 161 or 62 pounds to 181 pounds um, which is which is good I guess um, the baby right now is around three pounds I could feel it <laughs> um, and ten and three quarters inches long I feel like he's much taller or longer than that um, based on his earlier ultrasound um, when he stretched his leg out I feel like he looked really tall um, but his father is really tall so maybe that's where he got it from um, also the baby is not head down yet I definitely feel him moving around a lot <clears throat> um, so I feel like he's getting he's getting there um, you know with my uterus expanding and you know him getting a little bigger he's gonna go head down soon um, but it's been very uncomfortable it doesn't hurt when he moves and kicks but it's super uncomfortable um, and it's a really weird feeling sometimes it tickles and sometimes it's just like oh just stop just stop uh, because I don't know where my organs are right now like you know and I know he when he kicks my bladder because that it kind of hurts um, but not really it's just super sensitive um, so that's that um, and yeah so that's about it as far as the baby is concerned I went to an I did my glucose test I loved that drink I know most pregnant people hate it I don't understand why it's really not that serious like I'm sure you've tasted some nasty unprocessed stuff before and you weren't and, pe and people didn't make a big deal about it um I don't know it just tastes good to me I had the orange flavor and then I had to wait an hour which was the hardest because I didn't eat um, not because you need I needed to fast but because I just didn't plan my day out properly but anyway a, a week later I went to my doctor's appointment which was last week and um, I don't have diabetes or anything like that my iron was a little low so I'm taking iron pills which um, I could feel because I feel really tired um, I mean I would feel tired anyway I am 10 weeks away from this baby coming but I've been feeling like uh, like no energy at all lately so that makes sense I've been taking my iron pills um, <clears throat> yeah so for the last doctor's visit I thought I would see him on the ultrasound but they're saying they don't normally do that unless um, it's for an important reason or like something's wrong and I'm like something is wrong I want to see my child like I haven't seen him I'm not gonna not see him for 20 weeks until he's born um, so I guess I was irritated enough <laughs> where the doctor scheduled me for um, an ultrasound and I also want to see like where he is in my stomach and I want to see his face I want to see what he may look like in 3d um, I know he looks like his father but I'm waiting to see if he looks like me okay <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm really a mess another thing that kind of is weird um, when you um, go to these OBGYN appointments you don't really know who your doctor is going to be and it really makes me unsettled because not that I don't like any doctor there I just have a preference of who I like more who I want to go on this experience with me the last doctor I had 
she was all right but I liked I preferred someone else better so I'm hoping that I get the doctor that um, I've been seeing lately I'm seeing her again so I'm, I'm feel like I, I've been seeing her more than the other doctors so I'm wondering if you know she will be my doctor I, I, I really hope and I really wonder also on top of that the hospital tour I want to do a hospital tour um, I already went to the hospital before um, but I want to see like what room am I gonna be in like not the exact room but like where you know um, people deliver I want to see the NICU not that I'm praying for him to be in the NICU or that he will be in the NICU but that um, I just see it just in case you know I just want to see what it looks like um, also just to feel more comfortable hospital settings are kind of off for me I don't like the hospital like I hate going to hospitals um, and I know that I read this book um, that the hospital gives about um, the ambience of the ambiance of your room and how you like it and different stuff like that so I want to ask more questions on that like can I bring a treat into the room like can I have you know a violinist you know like where what's too much you know <laughs> I actually really want that it's actually a really cool idea um in filming I want to film the birth video um, it's actually gonna be a music video music video and then I'll post like another birth video um, that's a little more informational because um, in the birth music video there's gonna be like no talking you're just gonna be visualizing and seeing um, snippets of the experience um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the hospital tour. I also have to find a pediatrician. I was recommended one where the hours are really long and seven days a week. That's what I need. I hate when doctors are like three o'clock and you're done and people leave work at three, people leave work at four and then they have a kid and they go home who's sick. You know, I want flexibility. So I think I'm gonna go for this doctor's, um, this pediatric doctor's office and they have a whole bunch of locations it's just perfect and they take my insurance so I'm definitely gonna give them a call and um, schedule to meet with them see who his pediatrician will be if I'm comfortable with them um, because I've been reading a lot of articles about um, how difficult it is for black women black women period in every single facet of the world um, how difficult it is to find doctors who actually care or want to care because you're black. It, I know it doesn't make sense, but it happens. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's that, I guess. So, in about exactly five weeks, it's a baby shower, and I'm so excited. I was thinking, you know, I'm super anxious to have baby stuff. Like, here is where the crib's going to be. Uh, and I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done the shower at 35 weeks. One, because I want to prepare, like, right now. And two... I just don't want him to come so early if he comes early and then I'm super exhausted. But um, I'm gonna have help. I'm definitely gonna have people help me. Like if I can't go up and down the stairs to do laundry, um, I'm definitely gonna have to ask someone to help me, ex family or friends, just to help me out a little bit um, because it's been getting a lot more difficult. And I am a nanny and I do work. So to have. Um, Every other day off is good, but the day I'm off, I'm super exhausted like today. But I really wanted to record this video for you guys because it's important. It's important to me. Um, so yeah, all the nursery stuff. I basically cleaned out the majority of my apartment. The only thing that's not cleaned is a seasoning cabinet. <laughs> Which, um, seasoning cabinet and just the cabinets in the kitchen, I just need to organize because baby bottles are going to go over there. Um, I need to store away my tea set because I don't normally, I don't use it and it's taking up space and I could use that for storing baby stuff or putting my stuff up there, put the baby stuff lower so it's easier for me to reach, um, different stuff like that. So I have one more surprise for you guys. I wasn't sure if I should do it, but I think I will do it. Um, yeah, let's see what it okay, is. So so I decided to reveal the baby's name because um, I'm already telling people when they ask me so I'm okay with you know sharing it now publicly but before I do that I'm gonna show you my tummy 
and how small big it is. <laughs> okay, let me try to get up without hurting myself. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, I feel a lot of pressure right here, right now. Um, he's really low at this moment. And yes, I still don't have a booty. I cannot wait to get it back in hopes that I do, but um, this is my tummy right now at 30 weeks. Um, my tummy is weird. It's like hollow, but right here is poking out. So the top part's poking out, but right here isn't. It's like really deep. Um, I find it funny. I see my belly button moving around a lot because he's an active little nugget. So if you watched my trip to Kalahari, um, I bought this. This is the baby's first stuffed animal and I hope that he is in love with it. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe he'll name it or I'll say a name and he'll just stick to it. Excuse me, it's so disrespectful. So I'm going to reveal the baby's name right now. And it's funny because on the foot of this teddy bear is actually the baby's name. I mean, it's not the baby's name, not Kalahari, but his name is, you can find the letters. Okay, let me see if this will actually focus because it's so rude sometimes. Focus, focus. So his name is in here, <laughs> which I thought was super freaking cute. And yes, his name is um, an African name. Um, I believe it's uh, is it Ethiopian or something? Something like that. I'll have the correct um, thing. So, alright, I'm going to reveal what his name is and the meaning. Ready? Alright, you guys go. ready? In three, two, one, bam! Wow, you just want to fall over like that? <laughs> Baby Kari. I love this name. It's super duper 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 freaking cute um yeah his father came up with it and i fell in love with it and the meaning is absolutely beautiful and even the music video i'm doing the song that i'm choosing has the meaning of his name in it um so every time i listen to the song i am like super duper just in love with that song i cannot not like that song after this so kari yeah. means kingly or queenly it's actually a unisex name um so girl boy could have it doesn't matter it still sounds it's still majestic regardless right um and it means joyful song boy, born to rule and bring joy um this is awesome because when the father said he liked the name it was the day that we heard his heartbeat for the first time um, and I feel like this child is going to bring not just joy to his parents or to his family members but to strangers you know to friends he'll meet in the future even to enemies like it's undeniable that this kid will bring joy to whoever he's around and it says born to rule and bring joy um, I think we have a lot of leaders who aren't born to rule, who are put in positions and they bring nothing but strife and agony and pain to people. And we all have a role in this world, we all have a leadership position, and I love the fact that his meaning, his name means to be born to rule, but not just to rule like how we think ruling is, but to bring joy in ruling. Um, so I don't know who he's going to be. Don't know who he's gonna be when he gets older, um, but I'll definitely just be watching, be mindful of the things that he finds interesting and um, in hopes that he'll be a leader in whatever which way. He doesn't have to be the president, he doesn't have to be whatever. Just seeing what God has put in him. I know what I was made for. It took years for me to find out. Um, and I'm still on the path and a journey to f accomplishing that because it takes steps and steps and steps. Um, so to see God work that within my life is awesome and it's going to be even more amazing to see that in our son Kari. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love the name. If you like the name, 
thumbs up hearts this name is not common thank god my name is so blasted common i can't stand it um but yeah kari it is baby kari and like if i finally say kari 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 um i'm sure he knows his name by now because i talk to him all the time so baby kari and i say goodbye and teddy can you say bye teddy <laughs> you can tell i work with kids like i make them what's what is it called when you give when you make non-human things or living things alive what is it called I'm an English major and I don't even remember this, but whatever. Bye!